Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on using trigonometry to find unknown angles in a right angle triangle. And I'm assuming in this video that you already know how to find the length in a right angle triangle given an angle and another length in that triangle. But this time we've got two of the lengths and it's the angle that's unknown. But we do exactly the same thing as we would with any other right angle trigonometry problem. The first step is always to identify the sides that are involved in the problem. So we're involving this hypotenuse here, and it's a hypotenuse because it's the longest length and it's opposite that right angle there. So let's label with H for hypotenuse. And we're also involving this side here. Now this side is adjacent to, next to, this angle of interest here, so we label it with adjacent. If we were using this length, this would be the opposite because it's opposite to that angle of interest. So step two is to work out whether we want to use sine, cos or tan. And do remember we had a little mnemonic called SOCATOA, SOCATOA, and that allows us to decide which is sine, cos or tan we use. And these are the sides that are being used for each of sine, cos and tan. Now we're involving A and H. Which one uses A and H? Well, it's this one here. So we want to use cos. So we write out a formula. Cos of the angle, remember it's always cos of the angle, sine of the angle, tan of the angle, is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's adjacent of 5 over the hypotenuse, which is 7. Now to work out theta, we need to get rid of that cos on the front of the theta. Now usually we do the opposite of something to get rid of it in the equation, but what's the opposite of cos? Well actually there's a special function called inverse cos, and that enables us to get rid of the cos. And the way you can find it on your calculator is if you do shift cos, you can see there's a cos minus 1, that means inverse cos. So, we're going to do inverse cos of both sides, cos minus 1 it's written, don't worry about why we used a minus 1 in that notation. And what it does is it gets rid of this cos, so if we do inverse cos of cos, it cancels it out, leaving just theta. And if we do inverse cos of this, we write inverse cos of 5 over 7, and don't worry about how your calculator works it out, you just need to know how to use it. So you do shift cos, inverse cos, shift cos, and it will appear on your calculator of 5 over 7, and that gives you an angle of 44.4 degrees to three significant figures. Let's check it looks sensible. Well, yes, it does look sensible. Uh, if it was going up sort of northeast kind of direction, that would be 45 degrees, and it's just slightly less than that. So that looks vaguely sensible. 